I was just saying yes to fun. I was just saying yes to fun too much, right? I was saying yes to being open to that. Hashtag yes to fun. Weren't you? This next guest is so amazing. He needs a dramatic piano roll. He's the funniest man on the planet. He's been in old school. He's been in wedding crashes. He's been in swingers. Give it up for this fun. Good to see you. Come on, man. The place hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> Get in here. Come on, man. Good you to good see you, man. man. I'm doing great. Wait, wait, man. That's too tall for my trailer, man. I'm too tall for life. What you? <laughs> I am, right? I'm it's like circus tall, just on the border. <laughs> How you been? I've been really good. I man. think it's so cool you're doing this. You Listen. amaze me. You do everything. There's nothing you're not exceptional at. It's true. Maybe I appreciate Comedy, that, it's man. crazy. Piano, yeah, I don't get it. drama, you're directing stuff. Male exotic. Now you're like doing the male exotic big time. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But that goes without saying. Listen, every time we see each other, there's a connection. Always. Uh, but just on you as an artist, where you came from, uh, what got you into this? Uh, what was your first, your big break? Entertainment industry was like another world. Mm -hmm. It was a different planet, right? Right, right? So I didn't even realize it was something that you could do as a living. So my first big thing, I remember I booked this uh, Chevrolet commercial. I mean, that was it. That was it, baby. It paid so much money. And wow. it was, how much, did you ever do a national commercial? Man, I didn't do that. You, that Jamie, yeah, how I'm telling you, do, I made $60,000 in a year. And that was big cheese at that Huge. time. That was crazy. But didn't you feel that way every time you did something? Didn't you think this is it? I, I thought, listen. Every time. Every time. I'm going to tell you my story. I actually auditioned for a television show, got it. Somehow there was some situation with, with my manager and the, and, the, and the lead dude. It was a little kerfuffle on okay. the set, a little, a little, a little Donnybrook. Somebody was sleeping with the wrong, okay. whatever. And then I told everybody I was going to be in a pilot in my hometown, and then I got cut out of the pilot. Yeah. So I was like sitting there celebrating, telling everybody we had a, 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 a pilot party. And I wasn't in it. And no one called you to Nobody, tell you? Nobody, no. They ain't tell me what's going terrible, on. And so then dude. my grandma was like, that boy out there doing drugs, he ain't doing. That's he ain't doing. terrible. What I see in you is I see the undercurrent of, of all of it. I see the ability to be in wedding crashes. I see the ability also when you did uh, 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 the speech in Psycho, we all have a little mad in us. That speech took me to a whole thing, because I see Vince Vaughn, hey, baby, uh, da, da, and then yeah, all of a sudden. It's pretty good, by the way. Yeah, 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 hey, baby. Hey, yeah, of course, we were there, and, and, and we were here, and they were there, and we were here, and of course not. So, but, but I see that. Talk about that. I feel like as an actor or as a person, everyone has all sides to themselves. Right. And like in high school, sometimes you get rewarded. You feel safe in right. one area. I'm a jock. Right. Or I'm smart. Right. Or I'm the funny guy. And yeah. so you always present that. Yeah. But the beauty of being an actor is you get the permission to try to dive into those other side of yourselves where a lot of people don't investigate. So, and a lot of it to me is watching people who I would go, oh, that guy. Who was that? That guy's scary. I say, that guy's got it. Or that guy's got issues. Oh, I know a guy who feels like that, yeah, right? So was that some guy that you were uh, channeling? Different people I knew. Wow, different people I wow. knew. I mean, d aren't you the same? Sometimes it's not specific. It's just recognizing a feeling that you exactly. know that energy in a room. Exactly. You know that exactly. energy and you're like, oh God, there that is. I work with Robin Williams, he did, he was incredible at improv, but somebody by the name of Ron Howard, Google that for you youngsters. Ron Howard said you was the greatest improv ever. I don't know about that, but what that's very think? nice of him. I loved, I, I loved it, I did it younger, you did as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I loved it, but I don't, I think people make too big of a deal like it's, I think friends do it joking around as kids, right? Right, right, right. When you're bored and you don't have a lot of stuff around you, you'll be like, yeah. okay, let me come in, I'll be this guy, and you be this, and you try right. to make each other laugh. Right. So he's always just playful. How did family life change you? Vince Vaughn, I, just, just tell me if I'm wrong, but I yeah. saw, when I would see you out, I would see this, this tall dude who was just, I mean, it was, it was, it was this, mm -hmm. you know? But then... I got to a point, I love being single, and I, I just love meeting people. I love, don't you? I love <laughs> yeah. meeting people. Yeah. I like, I like, you know, I think sometimes you can have a whole relationship in two days with somebody, <laughs> right? I mean that in the, in the best way possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I mean that. I think that's. Like, I enjoy that. Right. I so, really so, enjoy so connecting. What do you mean? It's what do you connected. Mean? Connected. It's connected. You connected. I love so getting you see connected. Someone and you just want to yes, get connected. Yes, I like that. I right. like that feeling. I think it's fun. I enjoy right. that. I want to hear. Listen. I want to hear what? about it. You I want to listen. I do. Don't you? I enjoy everything about. I enjoyed it. But <laughs> then I always loved family. You love family. And family became important. Kids became important to right, me. Right, right. And so 
I got older, and, and what we do, you always feel like you're 18. Yeah, yeah Right, yeah, I mean, because yeah. we don't I'm, have I'm a structure. Grow. One day we do something, then we don't, and then you're off for a while, so you find something. But you never have like a job and a thing. So it's like, I just felt like I was a kid. I never, yeah. but I wasn't, I was getting older. And I remember thinking to myself, like at first I was like, well, I just gotta meet someone great. And I thought, that sounds so arrogant, like, as if I'm perfect. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I just haven't bumped into someone terrific. Yeah. I thought, I have to start changing what right, I'm doing right, to bring right. that around me. Wow, right. You know, now I'm thrilled, and right. I'm glad. I love my kids. Yeah. I love my wife. I really enjoy spending time with them. I'm excited wow, to be wow. there, right? How many kids now? Two. two How kids. many do you have? I have two kids, 24 and 9. So you started young. Yeah, I started young. 20, yeah. I, was 20, I was 25, 26 you when were I had my baby. daughter. Yeah, and it were was, you ready? Were you ready? I don't know, but you know what? My my my, out great. my my stepfather was like, "Yo, you'll be ready. Yeah, it, it, it'll happen." And all of those things that you've learned from your your parents, mm -hmm. you know, you you it's just having a daughter is it, is tricky because you do have the thing. Oh my God, I hope. How was I out there? I what is did. my karma? Yeah, how much I did hope I? She put? doesn't meet me. Is I that what you mean? But you know what? <laughs> I actually could tell my daughter, "I hope you do meet." Me. Yeah, no, I mean that. You know what? In why? a good way. Yeah, B because because. Although in my wildest, I was fun and wild. Of course. But every time. Sincere. I was genuine. Right? You were connected. You were you were genuine and you were yeah, totally. Treat, totally. Treated them nice. Exactly. Treated, treated Always. Them nice. That's that southern Texas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's dangerous. Or you play the piano or you make them laugh. You're undefeated. All I'm trying to do there's all no, that. There's no way. If you, get your, to, if you got your sights on someone, it was over. Everyone else had to move on. You know what I mean? Because you could present anything that whatever whatever they needed, whatever yeah. the case needed, you were there. Oh, you oh, oh, you'll pull a chair out. <laughs> You'll make them laugh? You'd like to play the piano? I'm interested in that subject, too. You're a dangerous man, Fox. <laughs> you are a dangerous man. You are a dangerous Fist man. Most people, have, most people would have one or maybe two go-to pitches. You got, the catcher's exhausted with you. He's like, like you have a fastball, a changeup, and a slider? You got, like, you got the knuckleball, the screwball. The screwball. You got the sinker. The sink You're hey, a dangerous man, Fox. I'm doing everything You're a I can. dangerous man. To and danger. a beautiful man. Cheers Thank to you. you. Cheers, Cheers to you. you. Because I was always just trying to make it hard for her to leave me. Uh, now, he, here's the thing. You, you, oh, it's a pleasure you to me. meet you. I'm from Texas originally, ma'am. Please, have a seat. Da, 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 da. I see you, Fox. You're dangerous. As you can see, I'm outmatched no. when it comes to this man. No, no. As you can see, it's Vince Vaughn time. All right. All right. Uh, Good to see you, dude.